guys. Um, if I sound a little different, um, I got a new microphone, so it might sound a little further away or it might just not sound as loud. I'm hoping that it doesn't sound like too far away or not like loud enough because I've been trying to get it like at proper status. Sorry, there's like a thing on there. Okay. But, yeah, I got a new microphone. I still have my old one, and I just don't know which one I like better yet, so, you know. But, anyways. Oh, nice. The whole focusing thing again. Thanks, camera. Um, anyways, I have the, uh, renowned four-star ball with me today. And I don't think I showed this one in the other videos. It's gonna be hard for me to keep up, so I'm just gonna take someone's, uh, I'm just going to take a suggestion, and uh, I'm going to have like a video that's all about my Dragon Balls, and I'm going to show them to you and stuff, but it'll be a daytime video. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to talk to you guys tonight about this new thing. It's not a new thing. It's not a new thing at all, but I go through like phases to where it's like, oh, I want to watch videos about this, or no, nah, now nah, let's watch videos about this. And that's what I'll do. But I've been going through, um, tornadoes phase. And this will happen, like, once every three or four years. Like, I'll be honest. I love natural disasters. Like, I don't like them happening to people. But just, like the fact that Earth can, like, create these, like, terrifying things blows my mind. And I like that. So it's like, I've always been terrified of tornadoes, but I really like watching these people, um, just go, like, face to face with these things. Sorry, like, I have something in my eye. Yeah. It's probably an eyelash. If every time I've ever had anything in my eye, it's been an eyelash. Like, there's only been, like, once or twice where it wasn't. And I can't even remember what they were those other times except for once. And I'll tell you about that in another video. Or, at the, or in this video. Because it kind of has something to do with a natural disaster. I'm turning autofocus off because forget you. <laughs> Anyways, um... But yeah, uh, tornadoes kind of fascinate me. Like, I don't necessarily live in a place where, I don't know, where tornadoes happen, knock on wood. Uh, that's just something that doesn't happen very often here. Sorry, again, eyes, eyelashes everywhere, no! I'm better now. I bet it's like cat fur too, because my cat was on my lap earlier, and now I'm just like dying. But yeah, uh, um, I don't really live in a place where tornadoes happen necessarily. Like, there's been some around here, but not like here. But that's because we have so many mountains here that it doesn't really, you know, whatever. But they're always like, oh, well, uh, you know, tornadoes won't come here from outside of your mountain range, but if you ever were to get a tornado inside your mountain range, it would just destroy everything because it couldn't get out. And that's always something I've been terrified of. And then I used to hear about ones at night where sometimes you can't hear them or you can't see them, but you can just hear like a train or something and it's like awful. So yeah, and then I watched Twister growing up and it was like my number one favorite movie of all time. I mean, it's not necessarily anymore, but it's still up there. Like, I still love that movie. It's, like, a great movie. Um, but, yeah. So, I've been watching tornado videos. And, like, I'll post some of the links down below, like, to these certain videos that I really like. And there's this one video. Let me tell you about this video, okay? This guy has, like, gotta have, like... I don't know, just the most guts I've ever seen in my life, okay? In my life. There is a tornado coming at this guy, like at him, 
not 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 going around it's not miles away so he can film it like in his car he's standing outside and this thing is like and he's just standing out there like filming it with his little camera and I'm like you have got to be insane like what are you doing right now what are you doing like I love this like not because you're doing it, but because it terrifies me. And it's beyond me why anybody would do that. So I'm just like, nah, you're so scary. <laughs> but there's this other video, like this other channel I've been watching lately. And like, it kind of cracks me up just by the way that like this guy like describes everything. Um... But he has some really good footage of, like, him chasing these, like, giant tornadoes. And they're, like, scary and loud and, like, just swirling vortex of, like, terror. And, like, yeah, that's kind of, like, not my thing ever. Like, I don't ever want I don't ever want to experience that, all right? I don't ever in a million years want to experience a tornado ever, ever, ever. Like, I'm, I'm so curious. I'm so curious but I don't ever want to deal with that I don't ever want that to happen so uh yeah hopefully that's a thing that doesn't ever happen Ugh, scary um also oh my goodness hi behind the dragon ball uh num num yawn <laughs> uh also um another thing that I watched um I watch, like, videos of, like, tsunamis and volcanoes and stuff like that, so I, I'd like to think I'm pretty knowledgeable with some of the things, like, in the past that have happened, because I really love learning about, like, Pompeii and, like, the things, like, the circumstances surrounding that. I like learning about, uh, Mount St. Helens or Mount Everest. I love learning about stuff like that, because it's, like, so scary, it's so scary. Plus, I found out, like, a, a few years ago. I don't know if this is true. All I know is I've kind of just accepted it as fact when someone told, told it to me, like, way forever ago, whenever I was in elementary school. And I might have been in middle school, but we lived in South Carolina. And I don't know if I read it somewhere or if someone actually told me, but I just accepted this. Um, but apparently there's a fault line um, somewhere between North Carolina and South Carolina, or in either state, whatever, um, that's, like, a giant fault line. Like, apparently it's dormant or extinct, depending on, like, I don't know, how long it's supposed to go off or whatever. It hasn't gone off in a really long time, but apparently, like, if it were to ever go off again, it could, like, destroy, like, this side of, like, America, almost. Like, I don't know, I don't want to say, like, America, but uh, it, it could destroy a lot. Apparently, it's the same fault line that the last time it went off, it reversed the flow of the Mississippi River, and that's why the Mississippi River flows backwards, or did flow backwards at one point. I don't know if it still flows backwards, but apparently that's the same fault line, which is super cool. Um, no... If you ask me, because I know, like, it's a popular topic, sort of, because it was on TV, I guess. I do not think about the super volcano in Yellowstone. I mean, yeah, it's good evidence. Yeah, whatever. But I think I'm going to get destroyed by another volcano, if anything. I don't even know, like, I, I just can't believe in a giant super volcano, you know. I believe, like, maybe a bunch of little ones that could just you know, go off at the same time and still have the same effect. But I don't know about a giant super volcano. Like, I just don't know about that. I don't know. Like, they could probably convince me of it. You just have to have better, like, facts and don't be like, one day in the middle of the night. <laughs> you get it? Like, it's like, it doesn't even coincide with each other because it's the day in the middle of the night. And it's like, like, the fears of all these people will come true. Anywhere within the next 10,000 years, we could have another super volcano. And it's like, really? Really? 
a day in the middle of the night and then still kiss me. It's hilarious. I mean, they don't say that, but they might as well because it's like, I don't know, not cohesive or something. I don't know. It's not, it's not the thing that I was thinking of, I guess. Beautiful. I'm sorry, I'm having a lot of fun with this. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah, like, but volcanoes, I love volcanoes. In fact, that was, like, my number one subject in school. Not because they taught a subject on volcanoes, but because I was always in, like, whenever I was in science class, I always excelled in, like, earth science. Because I love earth science. I mean, come on, it's earth. It's easy to learn. <laughs> But I loved learning about volcanoes. It was like my, it was like my jam. I mean, like I went through like phases where like I liked learning about clouds, and I could probably name you like all of the clouds. I'm not going to, but I could probably name them to you because I used to go every single like week to the library that I still go to. Um, but this was even before I could check out books, so I was super young, and. Like, I would go to the, like, the world book references, like, the reference books. And, like, you know, it has, like, goes like, A, B, C, D, E. I would get the C book and read all about clouds and learn their names and the pictures and what they do and why they are clouds. Like, it was amazing. I also used to go get the S one to look at the statues because they had the seven wonders of the world in that book. But they also had statues that had private parts. And I knew that I wasn't supposed to be looking at it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just thought I'd share something embarrassing. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I love that. I love that so much. I thought that was really funny. <laughs> I was like, ooh. It was like stupid, like the statue of David. And I'm just like, oh, the statue is like... I'm sorry. I just love stuff like that. Oh, it's funny. <laughs> That's really actually embarrassing. <laughs> but no. Oh, look at that. That hasn't happened in a while. <laughs> Wouldn't it be, like, great if, like, when the light comes back on, I'm, like, doing so, like, really <laughs> big in my nose or something. really tired and that seems like it'd be really hilarious or if it comes back up and I'm like blue like I have like a blue like suit on like one of those like stocking suits <laughs> oh that'd be great these are great ideas <laughs> I'm sorry I'm just in a like a mood I guess I don't know I'm in a weird mood, though. I don't know. But it's fun. I like me when I'm in a weird mood. Anyways, guys. I... I could talk for a few more minutes about storms and stuff. Storms. Um. Well, I forgot. I have to tell you about how I got something in my eye that was not an eyelash. Isn't it exciting? Be excited, okay? <laughs> JK Raffle. Um, no, anyways, yeah, I talk like I text, just by the way, like, if, if you guys get tired of me being, like, I don't know, legit and stuff like that, I say that a lot, I notice it because I edit my videos and I'm like, geez, I say that a lot, oh, I need to stop saying that, but I can't, like, I really can't, it's hard, um, but yeah, I talk as if, like, I'm literally just, like, one giant like cliche of a text sometimes I mean I can be better I can be better but whenever I'm like this I just like I don't know I don't I'm not worried about it I could talk all proper and be all amazed but I'm not gonna just cuz I don't want to <laughs> anyways before I forget cuz I will I'll just get on topic about a million other things like I'm doing right now Um, anyways, I 
Sorry. I'm just staring at my hand. This is gonna happen. This is just gonna happen. I'm leaving this in the video, too. I'm just gonna leave this all in the video. Uh, I might cut out a few things, but I'm just gonna leave the rest of this in the video. Um, anyways. Uh, I was sitting there. Uh, this was... I'm chilly. I'm gonna cover my shoulders. This was like... Five, six... Maybe more. I want to be. I want to say that this was like nine years ago, eight years ago. I don't know. I was old enough to make my own decisions, and I. Uh, I want to say drive, but I don't know. So, like, I know I was driving that long ago, but I just don't know if I was driving at the time that this happened. But I was at my friend's house, and. She and I were sitting outside, and they had uh, reported that we were going to have some bad weather, and we should stay inside, you know, blah, blah, blah. We were sitting on a covered porch. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Don't worry about warnings. No, I'm just kidding. Always worry about warnings. But we were sitting out there because she was smoking a cigarette. She is... She was like 27 at the time. I make older friends all the time. I don't smoke, so I was just sitting out there talking to her, but... uh. Yeah, I want to say I was, like, maybe in my teens, late teens to early 20s. So, I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to tell. I may have been a lot younger than that. Who knows? She may have been a lot younger than that. But all I know is uh, she was out smoking a cigarette, and I was sitting there in, like, this little swivel chair, and I was staring at her. Well, the wind was blowing at me, and apparently it was coming off of a hurricane that was on the coast or whatever. It was on the coast of North Carolina and we were getting all of this like fallout from it. Like fallout, fall off, whatever. I don't know. I'm not an, I'm not a weather person, but we were getting all of this stuff from it and it would wind and rain and like storms. But at the time it was literally like just wind, like just insane wind. Just whoosh. Which is one of the reasons I was sitting there looking at her. Because I love wind. Wind makes you feel so powerful. Like, I mean, it also makes you feel like you are nothing and it can just blow you away. But it makes you feel like you got just everything. Like, especially if you're, like, listening to, like, some really great music and then, like, just wind comes out of nowhere. You're just like, yes, I'm controlling this wind. This wind is me. Oh, yeah. Like, it, I don't know if anybody ever felt that before, but I feel that because it's amazing. And I like that. <laughs> um, sometimes if it's really strong, I'll stand up and I'll walk against it to where I'm like slanted forward. So I'm like walking against it. Not too far because I'm always afraid it'll just like stop. And I'm just like, Psh. <laughs> be awesome. It'd be hilarious. <laughs> but anyways, um, so we were sitting there and we were getting all this stuff from the hurricane and surprisingly, I was outside. I think it was, like, thundering and lightning and everything like that and all that good stuff. But no rain yet, I don't think. I don't remember it raining. It could have been, but I don't think it was yet. Just really strong, strong wind. And all of a sudden, like, this giant piece of bark, and I'm telling you, it was, like, a chunk. Like, that thick, that wide. Like, it was a chunk. Just went right in my eye. And I was just like, ah! It was, like, the most painful, like, thing I've ever experienced being in my eye. Like, eyelashes, they suck because they're tiny. And, like, you can blink and, like, rub your eyes and put eye drops. And those things will still be in there. And they'll be, like, hiding underneath your, like, stuff. Or they'll just be, like, floating around in there. And you're just like, why? Like, it's a disaster. But that, that piece of wood was, like, direct pain. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. I was so worried that I was going to get, like, a splinter or something. I probably did. I don't know. It was it was painful, though. But, yes. I mean, anyways. But, yeah, at least I guess it wasn't an eyelash. I don't know. Like, sometimes I've had, like, a disaster happen. It's like, I don't know, I can go all day without rubbing my eyes, especially if it's, like, a day after I've worn makeup or something. Like, I don't wear makeup often, but whenever I do, it's always, like, eye stuff. Or it's always because I've been, like, messing around. But, or if I, like, just go a couple of days without rubbing my eyes. And then I, like, rub my eyes. 
one time I literally did like that and there was like three eyelashes and one went in my eye not out of these three like a fourth eyelash went in my eye so I rubbed my eye again to get the to get it out three more was there I was like what is happening and like I remember one time in this eye I literally had like four in my eye I was like what's happening it's a disaster like the things that protect your eyes from stuff getting in them should not then fall off into your eye like the other eyelashes surrounding it should be like nope <laughs> nope sorry I don't know or if at least if it falls in your eye it shouldn't hurt like I was always told that your eyes have no feelings like your actual eye has no feeling in it or something I don't know maybe I'm wrong about that I don't know we'll find out I mean I'm not gonna find out probably but you know whatever anyways guys I'm gonna cut it quits cuz it's almost time anyways I hope you guys could hear me really well I don't know if you could or not or if you didn't it's something um, I hope you like this video if you did please leave a like if you did not like this video you can always leave a dislike or you can leave a comment down below telling me what you would like me to see changed would you like to see what you'd like me to change not what you'd like to see me change I'm, I'm not good at this outro thing <laughs> um it's just because I don't want to say goodbye to you guys that's all it really is <laughs> um actually I could probably sit here and talk for another 40 minutes and make a 60 minute video but I'm not going to um yeah it's pretty late uh <laughs> If you guys would like to follow me for more things that I've done, you can always do so at Facebook, Twitter, or Tumblr. Or you can follow me on my Instagram or my DeviantArt page, which are both cool. I've got my uh, cosplay pictures up there, and I've got, like, Sims pictures. On my Instagram, it's just, like, food and, like, cat pictures and, like, scenery and, like, me... I don't know. It's just stuff. It's just stuff. Just fun. <sighs> I want to say that this is like the second time I've yawned in this video. I think I'm doing pretty good. I may have yawned one more time, but I think I'm doing pretty good. Um, anyways, guys. <sighs> I hope you guys have a great, great night. And I hope you guys have an amazing morning. And I love you. And I'll catch you in the next episode. Bye, guys.